Sean White, the American legend in snowboard halfpipe, finished fourth in the final event of his career. The three-time gold medalist pulled off one last patented double McTwist 1260 before heading off into the sunset. Plus, after two early exits in her best events, Michaela Schifrin entered the Super G for the first time at the Winter Games. Her signature smile was back after she finished the race, although Schifrin failed to make the medal stand. Also, Team USA flipped its way to the gold in the debut of mixed team aerials. It's the first time the U.S. medaled in the freestyle skiing discipline since the 2010 Games. On the ice, the U.S. women's hockey team beat the Czech Republic to advance to the semifinals of the tournament. And the U.S. men's hockey team routed China 8-0 in its opening game with seven of the eight U.S. goals scored by players currently in college. Stories earlier this week was American Alpine skier Nina O'Brien fracturing her leg after a big crash during the women's giant slalom. Oh, uh, Nine News' is Matt Renew and John Kurt were with O'Brien and spoke with her at the Rocky Mountain Airport in Broomfield this morning where the 24-year-old O'Brien was in high spirits despite her recent crash. So this has been a, an interesting day. You know, um, I guess Olympic moments come in different shapes and varieties and this has got to be a pretty good Olympic moment for you. I mean, this is just beyond anything that I could ever like imagine or dream, to be honest. I, I don't think anyone who's ever broken their leg has had such a warm welcome home, so it feels pretty amazing. I definitely feel lucky. What all did, what all happened to your leg? I mean, I see a lot of stuff there. Uh, yeah, it looks kind of gruesome, but um, I have got a pretty solid tibia break. Um, my fibula broken in two spots, and then we're going to take some more uh, pictures with a CAT scan today and see if anything else is going on. When, when I mean, we talked, I mean, just the first question, you, 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 when you, you're a ski racer and you dream of the Olympics, this isn't the way a dream would go. Nope. But this, <laughs> but this support has got to be just a little, I mean, from the moment you saw your mom in Dallas mm -hmm. to now, it's just got to be like, what is going on? It's, honestly, this part does not feel like real life. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I was certainly like feeling pretty low for a minute there, lying in China. I mean, I was surrounded by um, doctors and really kind nurses and people from the U.S. Olympic Committee with me. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like morning, the end of one dream. But I think this moment and being welcomed home by everyone is just like so unexpected and like, <laughs> I don't know, want, makes me want to cry. Like this has been the best way to come home. You're, you're, yeah, I mean, it's, you're getting a little emotional just thinking <laughs> about all these people coming out and seeing you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm like the support I've had over the past few days means so much to me, the amount of people that have reached out. Um, but then seeing all of these people in person and their faces, it's just really nice to be home. So many people help an athlete like you get to the Olympics. And then what mm -hmm. they don't realize is the, is the help they provide when you get back from the Olympics after something like yeah. to you. Yeah, no, I mean, it took a village to get there, and now the village is bringing me home. So, um, yeah, I, it's really nice to be back with these people. What will your road to recovery look like? Do you know yet? No, I'm not so sure. Um, we're about to go to the doctor a little later, so I'll find out more. But, um, yeah, for sure, a few months ahead of rehab, and um, I think another surgery is inevitable. But, um, yeah, then hoping to come back stronger. I'm sure you will. Thank you. Perfect. Beautiful interview. Thank you very much. Thank you so That's much. I know you guys, guys you thank you for coming. Like, it's, I really can't believe. <laughs>
Once the men cross the finish line, their time transfers to their partners for a staggered start. Then the first woman to cross the finish line wins. Plus, the U.S. men's hockey team coming off an 8-0 win over China faces Canada in preliminary play. Also, there's a lot of short track speed skating with finals in the women's 1,000 meters, plus men's action in the 500 meter individual event and the 5,000 meter relay. And head first at 80 miles per hour, medals will be awarded in men's skeleton.